guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a haul type video because there's a bunch of new stuff that came out at the drugstore. So if you'd like to see everything that I got, then stay tuned. I went to two different stores. I went to Bed Bath & Beyond and I also went to Ulta. I checked out some of the other drugstores like I checked out CVS and I think I checked out Rite Aid too. A lot of them didn't have all the products that I wanted to pick up that I saw online. So I decided to go to Ulta and I also went to Bed Bath & Beyond. A majority of the stuff I actually got at Bed Bath & Beyond because for some reason they get all the new releases. So let's go ahead and get started and see what I got. So the first product I picked up was this L'Oreal True Match Lumi Cushion Foundation. I've actually used it a couple times and it is so good. Oops, it gives a really, sorry if I'm blinding you, but it gives you a really nice, luminous, beautiful look to the skin. So it's actually possibly one of my favorite drugstore foundations at the moment. Next product I picked up was from Neutrogena. It's the Healthy Skin Anti-Aging Perfector. I also got this at Ulta and it is in the shade Fair to Light. I actually got too light of a shade, but that's okay, I still use it. The reason why I was so interested in this product is because it came with retinol, and retinol is really great for firming up the face and getting rid of all these dark spots that I have on my face, so yeah, that's this foundation. Sorry if this goes like kind of like foundations to makeup to everything, it's just gonna be all over the place, but bear with me. Next thing I got was this Biore baking soda face wash kind of face scrub thing and it says it's great for combination skin i tried it out i think last night and it kind of irritated my skin it was the first time i tried it so i'm gonna give it a couple more tries to see how it is but yeah that's the biore baking soda scrub for some reason nyx came out with so much stuff i don't remember them ever coming out with so much stuff at once but they came out with a great selection of new products so this is the Hydra Touch Brightener or Illuminator. On the back it shows like, I don't know if you can see that, like a woman and then it shows like where you put the brightener. So it's just kind of like a highlighter but in a crayon form. Let me swatch it for you guys. It's really, really pretty. It's kind of like a goldish orange. That is, I don't know if you can see it. You can't really see it but... I don't know what they mean by brightener. I don't know if this will actually brighten up the skin, but I'll give it a shot and then I'll let you guys know later if it works out. Next product I have is also from NYX. Probably the next like five to six things are gonna be from NYX, but it's the Hydra Touch Primer. I'm really interested in this because I love hydrating primers. Whenever I have a hydrating primer on, it makes all of my foundations go on so smoothly, so we'll see how this one works out. Another product I'm so excited for, it's so cool. It may be a simple concept, but it's very, very convenient. So it is this Ombre Lip Duo also from NYX and I got it in the color cinnamon and spice so on one side you get a lip color and then the other side you get a lip pencil so really excited about that next product I got was from NYX also this is not a new product but they are new shades it is their soft matte lip creams and is, I got the colors Budapest, Rome, Dubai, and Havana I'm really excited about Havana. It's a really bright, gorgeous purple shade. I swatched it at the store. When I swatched it at the store, it was a little patchy, so hopefully it doesn't go on that way when I apply it to my lips, but we'll see. I'll swatch them for you on Instagram. Next thing I got was this Infallible Pro Matte Gloss, and this is from L'Oreal. It's really pretty, and it's like a, I think I got the color, what is it? color Forbidden Kiss. I'll swatch it here for you. So this is the color right here. It's not dried, but I know these do dry down to a matte, but they're not like super matte. So if you're looking for some drugstore options for matte lipsticks, this is something that you should definitely go try out. Next product I got also was from L'Oreal and it's their Infallible Black Velvet Liquid Liner. This is very intriguing to me. I love the Infallible Collection. I want to own everything from it. They're all so great. Everything I've tried from the Infallible Collection has been awesome. So I'm excited to try this liquid liner. And the last two products I got from Ulta were from Maybelline. 
It is this dream blender. It's kind of like the beauty blender, so I'm going to see how well it works. I'm really excited to use it because the only other drugstore sponge that I like is the Real Technique sponge. That one works pretty good. And so, yeah, I'll let you guys know about that one. And then next I have a contour palette, which is very new for the drugstore. There's not a lot of drugstore contour kind of options. I'm excited to see if this will work out and be a great option for something a little bit cheaper. Next, I got this big bag from Bed Bath & Beyond. I got this Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water, and I got it in the waterproof kind of version. I know this isn't new, but they had it in other countries. It just is new to the US, I believe. But don't quote me on that. You might want to check that out. And then from Physician's Formula, I got this Arganware Coconut Water Primer. It seems like it's going to be like the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer because that's also priming water. But I'll let you guys know how this works out. The only thing I'm a little worried about is the coconut water. For some reason, coconut water kind of bothers my skin, kind of irritates and gives me little bumps, so we'll see how it works out. Next couple of products I got from Physicians Formula. I got their Mineral Wear Cushion Foundation, so I'm excited to compare this to the L'Oreal Lumi one. So the next product I have is also from Physicians Formula. It's the new Insta Ready Bronzer. Excited to try this line. I also got the Physicians Formula BB Cream. I'm excited to try these out and see if they actually make you look like you have filtered skin. Probably not, but I'll let you guys know if it does. Next, I got this CoverGirl O Sugar Lip Balm. I actually might put some on right now. It's just a nice lip balm to put on. It's I got the color Caramel. Just good to put in your purse. It smells great, it smells like minty and sugary, it smells really good. Next product I got was from Maybelline and it is their Lasting Drama Eye Studio Waterproof Gel Pencil. I got it in cream because it's great for the waterline. I also got this Revlon Volume Plus Length Mascara. I know they came out with like five, maybe six different formulas that looked similar to this. They just have a different color tube. I actually have the red one, which is the all-in-one. I've had this for a couple months now. This is such a great mascara for your bottom lash line. It's such a small little applicator. As you can see, it's a tiny applicator, so it's perfect for your lower lash line. But I'm excited to see what its sister is like. The next product I got was from Maybelline and it's the Master Prime Prime and Matte Eye Primer or Eye Base, whatever you'd like to call it. So I'm excited to try this. Next product I have is from L'Oreal. It's their Color Riche Single Eyeshadows and I got mine in the color Sunset Cien, number 202. I heard really great things about these. It feels super buttery. I don't know if you can see it. It's like right here, but it's such a pretty color. So yeah, if you're looking for single eyeshadows, I would definitely go check these L'Oreal ones. All right, guys, out. that was about it. I'm probably gonna do another one of these videos in the next week or two. So let me know if there's any products out there that you'd like me to review or if you'd like me to review any of these products that I have shown you. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and comment down below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Little Singo, Singo. Ooh. Um, super BB. So I bought this donut shirt for Christmas and I'm so excited about it. It is my favorite shirt of all time. It's probably one of my favorite Christmas gifts. But yeah, I love it. Anyways, sorry about the random side note.